What's up guys, Stitch Productions here, and today we're going to be looking at the Bandai Namco SH Monster Arts Gigan. Now, this was actually the first SH Monster Arts figure I ever bought, and was my introduction to SH Monster Arts. So, we're going to be looking at it, starting with the packaging, it's very cool looking. I mean, I love this artwork of Gigan, he's actually one of my favorite uh, monster designs, I just think he's so goofy looking and fun. Got some images on the side of the packaging and some nice photo work of him in the back. It, it really just makes him feel like he's a, a suit character. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Not really much to say. I really like it. It's cool. But I don't really care about the packaging. Today we'll be looking at this guy. Now, Gigan is uh, an alien from space. He's a cyborg chicken monster with big old claws that he wants to destroy cities. And you know, he even teamed up with a few monsters like um, like Ghidorah. So he's pretty cool. And you know, he got his butt whooped by Jet Jaguar, which I'm excited to get that figure one day. But here's the figure. And I am so impressed with this figure. It does have its faults, of course, but I'm very impressed. Now, I've been, re I reviewed the SH Monster Arts, King of the Monsters, Godzilla, and Rodan, and to be honest, I was very disappointed with their plastic quality. I, I feel like I stated that enough in the video, but this figure's plastic quality is great. I feel like this really feels like a good action figure and feels fun to play with, doesn't feel like it's gonna snap except in one spot, but I'll get to that later, but you get great tail posability, very flush, very nice, some excellent paintwork for the for the gold all over all over the stomach. The eye looks so good. I love it. The pincers are able to move. It's just this is just a great looking figure and, you know, which is why I was kind of surprised with the other SH Monster Arts figures I've looked at since, you know, this guy was super good and then everything that was older was kind of bad in my opinion. But but going to the posability, this figure, like I mentioned, his pincers can move in and out. His t his mouth can open that that much, open this much, and close that much. His tongue is also a little posable; it's on a ball joint. Neck can look left and right, up and down. He has a swivel on each of his neck joints. He can his he can t pose this much. He has he has a swivel at each of the joints. His elbows are are not too good. I wish it could have went up a little higher, but again, these guys are not really meant to be hyper dynamic since this literally looks like a man in a suit. He has no waist articulation, but I think it's obvious why. Uh, he, he can kick that much back and then this much forward. He has a very good knee articulation and some pivot. His tail is very fluid. And the last thing, and this sadly is something I have to tell you to be cautious about. So this figure has a flight mode since Gigan can fly, but to be honest, I think it's kind of useless and really sucks that they did it because these wing pieces are super fragile and are made of clear plastic. And to put them in the flight mode, you gotta push, pull them up. Look, as you can see, you could move up a little bit like that. And then you like spread it a little bit. And then you go, you just move his head and look there, he's in his flight mode. Um, the packaging doesn't really make it look all too interesting, to be honest. Uh, he could, if you get a stand, I'll, I mean, you'll see him flying in, in pictures, but yeah, that's his flight mode. And to be honest, I don't think that's worth these very fragile pieces. I don't even know why they use clear plastic for this. I mean, it it's sadly the cheapest part of the figure and it has been known for breakage if you're not gentle with it. So that really sucks. But overall, I think Gigan is a very good figure. Um, if these pieces were not made of this awful plastic, then this would be honestly a perfect 10 out of 10 and I'd recommend buying it. I mean, granted, this figure is 120 bucks as of filming this. And I got this in the Tamashii Nation store in New York City. 
uh, with my friend who had a coupon. So I got this guy for a little off, but still, it's a expensive figure. And he comes with no accessories. Granted, like, Geigen doesn't really have much to, like, accessorized but he could at least come with like an eye blast effect or something i mean this guy is known for having the like a laser come out of his face so it's like i feel like they could have done something with that and i know some people wish that these were able to move but to be honest i was not really expecting that but overall the figure is pretty good so i guess uh let's move on to the, some size comparisons for size comparison here is sh monster arts geigen with Hayatoi's Godzilla, Hayatoi's Kong, SH Monster Arts Hedorah, and Kevin. So I do think this figure is very good. I actually think he is my favorite SH Monster Arts figure I own. But the fact that this figure is $120 and has such a fragile piece on his back that for an honestly useless like mode or whatever, it just kind of sucks that, you know, something so good has to be dampered by that. But if you can get this guy for a little bit cheaper, and if you're delicate, you know you're going to be delicate with your figure, I highly recommend it. I think he's very fun, looks great with all the other figures. I'd be curious to see if um, Hayatoys makes a Geigen figure. I know there's a Rebel Tech Geigen, maybe I'll look at that one day. But overall, I do recommend this figure, and I'm happy to say I finally like an SH Monster Arts figure. Here's hoping that I could review some more monsters. Uh, the thing is, they run a hefty price, but we'll see where I am in the future. Overall, I do like this figure and I highly recommend it. And if you guys have this figure or have handled it before, leave it down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your opinions on it. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.